Howdy everyone and welcome back. So I'm back out here at the land just getting a few things done, checking things out, and just enjoying the evening because it feels amazing out here. There's actually about to be a storm roll in so it's cooled off a lot. But I came back down here to the wheat field to tell y'all that this isn't going to be a wheat field for very much longer. That's right, we're going to try something new and we're going to plant about three acres of black eyed peas. And yes, that's gonna be a heck of a lot of black-eyed peas, but that's okay because this is gonna be a new adventure. We're gonna try things out, learn along the way, and just have fun. So come on, let's go get this show on the road. Alright guys, so the first thing we have to do is we have to do something with all this wheat before we can even think about planting any peas. And if you saw in my We Bought a Farm video, I have no way of harvesting all this grain. But that doesn't mean that this wheat is going to go to waste. What we're going to do is we're actually going to mow all this wheat down. And yes, that sounds like a waste to some, but what in reality what that's going to do is that's actually going to turn all this wheat back into organic matter and soil carbon which are both very important and a good healthy soil for things like water absorption, absorption and retention. It's going to help with nutrient cycling and that's only going to benefit our next crops. So my dad's actually going to be on the tractor in just a minute and we're going to mow all this down and after he does that I'm going to talk about what we're going to do next to get these peas planted. Alright guys, so we've been mowing for the last couple of days and as you can see behind me, the wheat is all mowed down and shredded. And all that shredded wheat is just going to become great organic matter for our soil like I mentioned before. So now what we have to do is we have to plow this field and get the soil prepared for the seed planter so that it can put in the black eyed pea seeds. We also have to get rid of a lot of these weeds that are in here or they'll just compete with our black eyed peas when they start to grow. So we're going to get this field plowed and I'll get with y'all after that. Look what I got in the mail today you guys and just in time. This is a hundred pounds of black eyed pea seed. And that's amazing to me that I can get that many black eyed peas shipped right to my front door. These are California black eyed peas and they came from Turner Seed. They're a great company for all kinds of native and wildlife seed. And that's not all that I have in these boxes. There's another product in here that's going to make our pea crop grow much better and it's going to make it where I potentially don't have to apply any nitrogen fertilizer to my next wheat crop. So let me show you what's in here. Okay, so let's open these up and see which box this product that I'm talking about is in in one of these, not sure which one. Mm, I see the seeds right now. Here it is. Let's see what we got here. We wrapped it up in a sack. Yeah, here it is you guys. Let me show you a closer look. So what I have here is called inoculant and this inoculum is what is actually a powder made up of bacteria. And these bacteria are gonna colonize the roots of our pea plants. And yeah, that might sound like it's a not good thing, but in this case it is. They are going to form what's called a symbiotic relationship where the plant will provide them nutrients in exchange these bacteria are going to produce nitrogen that can be used by the plant. And when we do that, that means we don't have to apply any nitrogen to our peas. Their peas are going to grow bigger and better with the help of these rhizobium bacteria. And in the end, when we till in our peas, that's just going to make nitrogen that we'll put in our soil for our next crop, which will be wheat in the fall. So we're going to get these peas all put together and we're going to put this on them when we go to plant and that's probably what you're going to see next. Alright 
guys. So the seed's all put in. We're ready to go in the morning. So how far apart are these rows going to be, Thomas? 36 inches. 36 inches. And how far apart are the plants going to be, the one, seeds? One to two inches. All right. So there you have it. We're going to get this done first thing in the morning, and I'll talk to you more about it after that. Okay guys, it's been about two weeks since we got the peas planted and they're starting to come up. Let's take a look at how they're growing. As you can see here, the peas have come up pretty well. They're all these right along in here. So they've come up really fast and they're growing really good. The big problem I think we're going to run into with these peas are the weeds. At the time when we were plowing the field, the only plow we had was a chisel plow. And while that's good for water infiltration, it doesn't do a lot for getting rid of the weeds. We have a few solutions. We're gonna try to salvage as many of these peas as we can. And in an update video, I'll show you everything we're gonna try. But until then, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you have any questions about growing black eyed peas or have any ideas you'd like me to try in future videos, be sure to leave those down in the comments. And as always, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you can be there for when all the new videos come out. And until next time, I hope you'll join me right here on The More You Grow.